Hey, I'm Rachel M. Gome. I'm a Pinterest and lead generation strategist. And today we are talking about the top social media platforms you should focus on and the ones you shouldn't and why. And you're going to have to just excuse this. It's, it's Friday. It's a chill day. I wasn't even planning on going live today, hence the no makeup, but I had a really good idea for you. And I just wanted to talk and chat about what you should be focusing on. So when it comes to social media, there are certain platforms that are way more advantageous, especially when it comes to long term than other platforms. And those are the ones, especially if you're brand new that I want you to be focusing on. So the ones that if I were to start over brand new business, what I would do, and this is what I did with this company, she's making an impact, Pinterest, YouTube, and a podcast. And let me tell you why those three, and you don't have to do all three at once. I didn't, we started with Pinterest in our blog and then podcast. And now we're on YouTube and doing other kinds of things there, but it's because these are the search engine platforms and that's what makes them so powerful. So you could go into YouTube and search keto peanut butter fat bombs. And if you search that you're going to find my video that I made two years ago and it's on there. If you go, I just talked to somebody yesterday on the phone who was on the podcast app and she searched for Pinterest marketing, found me and an audio that I created, I don't know how many months ago and decided to learn more about me and how I could serve her. I've had people search on Pinterest for, oh my goodness, I can't even, how, let's say, uh, how to do intermittent fasting for women is one find a pin that leads to a blog post that I wrote two years ago, four years ago. I mean, I've had like five-year-old blog posts be found. They find that pin come to my blog and then they get to learn more about me. And so that's why these platforms are so powerful. When you think about Facebook or Instagram or Instagram stories or anything else like Twitter, Twitter is even worse. You post on those platforms and it's going to disappear. And if you're your fans don't see it, it's gone. And you have to keep working harder, keep working harder. It's like you're spinning a wheel, right? Like it's just crazy. But if you focus on search engine platforms, then you're going to be getting way more bang for your time buck. And you're going to be able to be discovered months later, years later. So YouTube, podcast, Pinterest. Those are the three. If you're like, I need to do something to get seen and get visible, learn search engine optimization, and you will dominate those platforms. Okay. That's it for me. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. Have a great weekend. If you haven't grabbed my free guide on how to create a freebie that converts, go to rachelandgome.com forward slash blog freebie. I put it in the description and I'll talk to you later. Bye.